So in this first drawer, I have my setting sprays and some of my moisturizers. So I know Vegas is super dry. So I'm super conflicted about what to do because it's going to be dry, but I normally have combination to oily skin. So I don't really know how my face is gonna interact. I've never, I've been to California, but I didn't notice a difference, but that was also years ago. So I'm used to like the Southern weather, which is hot and humid. So this is gonna be a different a little like makeup take for me, but we're gonna try it out. So I know hydration is gonna be super important. So I'm actually gonna bring two of my Pixi Mist. The first one I'm gonna bring is the Hydrating Milky Mist. I really like this in the morning. It's really refreshing, cooling, and hydrating. So I'm gonna bring this to use at night as well as in the morning before my makeup. But then I'm gonna bring the makeup fixing mist and I'm gonna use this to set my makeup as well as I'm gonna throw this in my purse wherever we go. That way if I you know, get dry, I can kind of just spray my makeup so it doesn't look dry and keep hydrated. So I'm gonna bring both of those sprays and then as far as my moisturizer goes, I have a little sample of like one of the Clinique gels that someone had recommended that's very similar to the water cream. And so I'm gonna bring that instead of this because I don't wanna lose this. I love, love, love this. So I'm not gonna take my Tatcha water cream and I'm gonna take the Clinique one instead. But I think I'm also going to bring this little guy. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing or smoothie priming moisturizer. So this has really good reviews online for being hydrating and smelling good. I mean, coconut, like, okay. So I'm gonna bring this as my moisturizer as well. Moving on to the next drawer, which is going to be our primers. I don't think I'm actually going to take a primer because I'm gonna take some more mattifying foundation. So I feel like between the pixie mist, the moisturizers, like I should be good on hydration. And yet I feel like I'll be good on mattifying with the foundation. So I don't think I'm gonna take a primer after all. So next, I'm moving on to foundations. This is probably one of the hardest decisions about what makeup to take when I don't know how my skin's gonna react. So I think I'm gonna bring two, which actually there's gonna be three. Dang it, that sounds so excessive. But we are going to a couple pool parties. Um, the day that it's outside, I'm not going to wear foundation, but we do have one pool party inside. So because of that, I am gonna bring my Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. Huh, look at all my swatches I was doing earlier, bronzers, trying to figure out what one I wanna bring. But I'm gonna bring this because it's waterproof and it feels really good on the skin and I think this will be good for the indoor pool day. So I'm not gonna bring this whole bottle because it's glass, but I have a little tiny container. I'm gonna put you know some pumps in to bring this. So that's gonna be for the pool party day. So for the rest of the time, I think I want something easy, so I thought the NYX Total Control Drops would be good because this is buildable and so I can change up the consistency and make it lighter or heavier depending on how the weather goes. So I think I'm gonna bring this guy. This is more of a mattifying or natural finish though. So I'm a little nervous, like what if it's super dry and my skin just looks really, really dry. So I think I'm also going to bring my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow just as a backup in case like my skin doesn't end up being oily and I could wear something glowy and pretty that's a little bit more hydrating. So I'm gonna bring <laughs> three foundations that's excessive, but only the Makeup Forever one and a tiny little amount for the pool party. But I think those two foundations will be good because then I have matte and then I have glowy just in case. Next, we have bronzers. So it was in between like the um, butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, which I love, but I was like, no, let me use something else. So I think I'm going to bring my Benefit Hoola Light as kind of like an everyday bronzer, more of a daytime wearable. But then I wanted to bring something that was for contouring as well. So I think I'm gonna bring this little guy from Catrice. And this is a little contouring set. So it has a dark, cool tone contouring shade and then it has a highlighting shade. So I thought the highlighter might be good for like more daytime or for like that pool party or something. But then I have a contour and then I also have a bronzer. So these are the two that I'm going to bring from this drawer. So in this top drawer, I have my concealers. I'm not really concerned about the concealers being too heavy or anything. So I probably would be fine bringing my Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't know. Cause that's not super drying on me, but I don't know with that kind of weather. 
So I'm thinking maybe if I bring something that's like my Lancome waterproof one, this would be good because it's still really nice, medium to full coverage, but yet it's a little bit more liquidy. So I'm thinking maybe I'll bring this one and then maybe bring my Too Faced Born This Way, which is a little bit more medium coverage and a radiant look. Again, then I have like options as well as like two different kinds of the way they wear as far as more like natural matte, more radiant, depending on the weather. So I think I'll bring both of these. So moving on to this drawer, we have the good old powders. So I do have a new powder. I think I'm gonna bring it. This is the new Urban Decay Naked Skin Illuminizer. This feels really finely milled and it's pretty and soft. So I think I'm gonna bring this to give like a luminous look. Um, in case, you know, again, I don't know if I mean mattifying or if I need glowy stuff. So I think I'm going to bring this and then I am going to bring one loose setting powder as well that's good for the whole face, for baking, all that kind of stuff. So I'm either going to bring Cover FX or I'm going to bring my Kat Von D because my Laura Mercier, the top is broken off so it is not travel friendly whatsoever. But I'm thinking that I'm going to bring... Kat Von D. I really like hers, but hmm, hers, if I have to pick between these two, is probably a little bit more drying than the Cover FX, although both of them I would not consider drying, but Cover FX might actually be a little bit lighter and more finely milled. So I think I'm actually going to bring this one to set my face on the days that I want a little bit more of a natural to matte finish as well. Okay, so similar to foundations, I feel like the second hardest thing to decide about was highlighters. I'm like, all right, it's a Vegas. I need sparkle. I need glam, but I also like want daytime wearable. So I think, I think what I'm going to do just because I've been craving it and I haven't used it in a while, I kind of want to use my Laura Mercier baked highlighter. This is so pretty perfect for every day and it kind of has more of a champagne glow to it. So I think this one will be pretty, especially if I get some sun at one of the outdoor pool parties. So the only bad thing is this is kind of bulky and I'm afraid it might break, but knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't. And then I think for a little bit more of an intense, like silvery metallic one, I'm going to bring my Too Faced Blinded by the Light highlighter because this one is a really pretty champagne with a little bit of a white silver undertone and I can definitely build these up and make it look a little bit more metallic on the face. So I think everyday wearable, a little bit more um, intense and then I have that, again, that little contouring compact that has a really natural pretty highlight in there as well. So moving on to the blush drawer, another hard decision because a lot of the palettes I have, like I wanted to take this one, I'm like, okay, but if it breaks, that's 10 blushes that potentially could break. So I'm like, eh, I don't know if I wanna take that risk. So I think what I'm going to do is only take two blushes and I think I'm gonna take this little guy from Tarte because it's a pretty kind of nude shade with a little bit of a pink undertone. This is in the shade Parte. So I think this one's pretty because I kind of want to take like a nudie shade as well as like a pinky shade. So I'm going to take this one and then I think I'm going to take a butter blush. And this is in the pink shade called Rosy Pink. This one is a little bit brighter, can definitely be built up. So I have more of a nude shade and more of a pink shade. So then back to this side, I forgot about eyeliners brows and mascara and speaking of brows I do have the let's see the wonder brow I'm gonna definitely take the wonder brow because I'm still trying this out and this oops this guy fell and this is supposed to be you know a couple days long lasting waterproof smudge proof so I thought this would be good with all the pool activity so I have the shade brunette so I'm gonna bring this for my brows as well as like a little brush to go along with it as far as my mascaras go though, I'm gonna take the new L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I have it in waterproof up top. I'm gonna take the waterproof version because it's gonna be super hot and I'm gonna be probably sweaty in uh, Vegas and I don't want to be like having running mascara or anything like that, plus at the pool. And I know it sounds crazy, 
But one pool party is like a true pool party. So like we'll be outdoors. I'll have sunscreen on. I'm not going to wear makeup that day. But the other pool party is at like 11 o'clock at night to like 4 in the morning. So I'm definitely going to wear a little bit of makeup that day. Like I said, the Makeup Forever foundation as well as like some mascara. And that's about it. So I'm going to bring the waterproof one. So in my big Ikea Alex drawers, I have more of overflow slash palettes. So I'm going to find a matte palette I want to take, but I'm definitely going to take my Skinny Dip palette because look at these shades, you guys. Like all that glitz and glam and sparkle, perfect for Vegas. Bikini will be more of my everyday, and those can be for at night and stuff like that. So I'm going to bring that, and then I want to bring a matte palette as well, just something to complement it. So I think it's coming down to these two palettes. I don't know which one I want to pick. The Lorac one does have a black, although I don't know how much I'm going to use that. So I don't know. I like the cream shades better in here. I think I'm going to take e.l.f. though. I think this has some smoky colors, brown colors, and cream colors, and that this will go well with the Jouer palette. So I'm going to take this one and this one together as my eyeshadow palette. Okay, so on to the lip products here. I've kind of moved everything on top of my Ikea drawers. I think I have, for whatever reason, like a ColourPop shade that I have in mind. So I wanted something that I could just like continuously throw on throughout the day and easily apply. And I really like Lumiere. It's kind of a mauve shade. So I really like this one. I think I'm going to take this as like the everyday during the day color. And then as far as liquid lipsticks go, I love my Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks. They are so good. So this is the shade 101. I think I'm going to take this one as well as 105, which is in my purse. That one's more of like the purplish, why can't this focus? The purplish gray tone one. So one, 101 and I think 105 I'm going to take as my two liquid lipsticks. And then maybe one fun red color because I have like a black outfit in mind that I'm going to wear one night and I just feel like black looks so good with a red lip. So I think because of that, I'm going to take one of my Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks that's in red, and this is in the shade Mary Jo K, and this is just a really pretty bright red. So now it is a total mess on my dresser, but I'm going to throw everything in this little bag I had gotten from Tweezer Man, and I think it's super cute. So I'm just going to throw everything in here, and that's what I'm going to be taking on my trip and what's in my travel makeup bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and seeing what items I was taking with me along to Vegas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!